Hi, good morning. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this pretty cool Mini Cooper 1.6 Club van that has arrived in with us. Uh, now, I am working off the top of my memory, which is never good at the best of times, but three keepers from new. Uh, has a good service history with it. Um, we will service it before go it goes out, although it's not due it. Um, we just tend to try and get everything done so we know where we're where the baseline is um, for people once they buy the vehicle on the servicing side. Uh, it's 69,000 miles um, and it's got great spec on it as well. Um, as you know, if you're looking around at club vans, there's a, there's a large amount of, uh, of the white ones about. Not many in the nice darker metallics. Not many with a nice specification on that this has got on it as well. Now the video, you, I'm sh as I'm showing it you today, is as the van has arrived in with us, so we've not valeted it yet. Um, but the demand is there from inquiries from people just wanting images or videos as soon as possible. So um, we'll we'll bang it up online, bang it up on YouTube, and then you can uh, you can make up your own minds of what you think. But obviously we will get it all valeted, etc. Now roof, uh, roof's pretty good. I will be completely honest with you. We had a little bit of a dent here on the roof, whether somebody dropped something on it. Our dent man has got it out. Um, that is just, I'm trying to get the right angle, just ever so such, just about see where it was. Um, but I'd rather point it out to you, as I say, or I haven't said on this video yet, but our videos are warts and all, so we show you, we show you the bad bits as well as the good bits. Um, right, so there is the, obviously that mark on the roof there, okay? Coming around onto the front windscreen, we'll start at the front of the vehicle. Front windscreen, uh, doesn't appear to be any major stone chips on there. Uh, you're always going to get the, like, the micro stone chips on the glass, but there's nothing major on there at all. Nothing that's going to cause us any grief when it comes to MOT, and obviously this will have a fresh MOT on it before it goes out. Bonnet. Again, because we've not got around to cleaning it yet, you've got a few fly marks on the bonnet there, um, but nothing major um, from a cosmetic point of view. It's all kind of valeting stuff, really. Uh, you know, polish, mop, touch-ins, uh, and your bonnet will be pretty damn good, to be fair. Uh, passenger headlamp, all good. Passenger front bumper corner, uh, all good, no scuffing. Uh, I'd suggest probably front bumper has had a paint at some stage in the past. Um, but uh, yeah, it's all in good condition now. So uh, front fog light, all in good order as well. Rest of the front of the bumper, all good. Driver side front bumper corner, no scuffs there either. And fog light is in good order there as well. Driver side headlamp, all in good order as well. I mean, cosmetically, this van's pretty damn good to be fair. Hopefully you'll pick up on that as we go along couple of dead man dings on it so i'll try and point those out to you we can get our dead man on it um i don't know why when he did the roof he didn't do the others but there you go um so uh front driver side front wing all in good order aloe wheel will clean up really nicely to be fair you've got really minor marks on there but nothing major so once they valeted those are clean up pretty well tire on the driver's side front you've got a continental on there at the moment it appears to have plenty of tire tread depth on there as well that will obviously be picked up on our pdi we do 110 point pdi check that will highlight to you exactly what your tire tread depths are mirror case a little bit of t cutting required there but on the whole secure and mirrors in good condition as well driver's side mirror glass is in good condition no scratching on the glass when it comes up and down Driver side door, is it on here? Yeah, you've got a really minor little dent man parking ding there. Don't know whether you can see it, but yeah, there is something there. As I say, we'll probably get rid of that for you. Looking down low, you've got your plastic sill covers, but those are in good condition with no signs of any damage on them. Your little opening side door here. So this opens, we open, we'll show you the inside properly in a second, but does just open we've got a handle here that opens up as well um, gives you access to the back of the vehicle obviously as you can see you've got your proper factory uh, bulkhead in there as well 
and just whilst that one's open, your door card inside, clean and tidy. Uh, and then, so obviously it is glazed, um, but it's got obviously the um, protective film on it, so you can't see. I don't know whether that can be removed and turned back to clear glass. It's not something we'd mess around with personally. Um, and then driver's side rear quarter, again, condition, good. Yeah, I've left the door open there. So, looking down, driver's side profile of the vehicle, clean and tidy. Alloy wheel on the back, driver's side, again, requires a valet, but looks pretty good to me. Uh, looks like you've got a budget tyre on the back end. Uh, appears to have plenty of tyre tread depth on it though. Driver's side rear bumper corner, all good. Driver's side rear light unit, corner, etc. All good. And then rear end of the van. You've got your rear barn doors as we call them. Uh, as you can see, you've got wash wipe on them. God knows why, because you can't see through to the back of the vehicle. Um, but uh, it has got those on it. And top of your bumper, no major loading marks. You'll always get, you know, very fine stuff, but in actual fact, pretty damn clean, isn't it, on this? Uh, reverse parking sensors on the back of the vehicle as well. You've got this lovely wide strip of a, of a rear brake light on there as well. And then little electronic buttons that open up the back end. Got our trade plate in there at the moment. But as you can see, bulkhead, roof, carpeting, etc. It's all nice and tidy and clean. So your carpet sides are clean and tidy. Doesn't appear to have done a hard day's work in its life when it comes to anything that's messy anyway. Um, and then you can see you've got your, your rubber mat underneath there. The carpet is in nice condition. And then uh, yeah, there's all your toolkit etc in there as well so uh, key little things like this plastic covering when they've been used for heavy duty use this will be scratched and mangled but no it's pretty it's still pretty good condition uh, yeah light units etc on both sides all all in good order got the little security glazing on there so you can see through this rear glass to be fair so um, although you could, it doesn't look like you can. So if you did want to remove the bulkhead and uh, you would be able to see at the back end, although as you can see, you can't see into it. So yeah, maybe those, maybe me being dismissive of those rear wipers was a little bit premature. Um, so passenger side rear, a bit dusty and whatever, obviously it's not been valid yet. I'll keep on mentioning it as we go through, just in case you're picking up the video as we go along. But uh, rear glazing's all good. Rear quarter this side, pretty good. We have a little mark here that may well, oh yeah, that's gonna take it out to be fair, because it's coming off with my finger. I think we had a couple of really minor dings down this side. We've got one there. Don't know whether you can see that at all. Very, very light. One on the passenger door, about where the end of my finger is. Again, very, very light. So, fuel flap. Uh, wheel this side um, is, um, again, it requires a clean, but in pretty good condition. You've got a Michelin tyre on this side. And that tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth on it by the looks of it. Passenger door. Obviously there was that ding over here that I mentioned oh, a couple of seconds ago, but as I say, you can't really see it, but there is something there. Plastic seal guards along the bottom, showing no signs of any damage. All straight and tidy. Mirror unit again, secure. No major damage on there. Passenger side front alloy wheel again requires a clean, but you've got a continental tyre on this side, which I think matches the one on the other side. And that appears to have plenty of tyre tread depth on there as well. Um, things like brakes and etc. are checked as part of the PDI process. 
Now we've got a little bit of a wheel arch, that's just a little bit loose there. When there's a clip loose or something, we'll have to see if we can secure that for you. Um, passenger side door card, good condition, clean and tidy, showing no signs of any abuse. Going down the video, or down the sills, sorry. Uh, plastic sills, covers are all right. We've got a little bit of lifting on the chrome thing here. Uh, not unusual. The minis. The sunshine is coming out to destroy my video now, but I don't know whether you can see, but the carpet is pretty clean and tidy. Again, there's no ingrained dirt into there. We have a glove box here. Drops down, book packs in there with all your handbooks and service book, etc. Top of your dashboard's all good. And then we've got like the half leather. Okay, right, don't just take me to court if it's not leather. It looks like leather, um, but uh, it could well be the old fake stuff. But uh, yeah, it looks well enough, doesn't it? Seats look clean and tidy, don't they? Um, no undue wear or tear on the bolsters from getting in and out. And then I'll just pop around to the driver's side. Again, driver's side, we've got a couple of little marks here on the scuff plates, but yeah, that's what they're there for. Driver's door cards, try and get out of the shade, not the sunlight, I should say, as you can see. Minor bits of scuffing here from people getting in and out, but to be fair, we'll um, get those cleaned as part, of the, as part of the process of cleaning it. Start stop button here, you normally have to put your key into here. And then we have wipers on this side, automatic wipers as well, it's quite a nice spec. Um, you know, bolster, elements of, of wear and tear, but it's it's not wrecked or nothing like that. So, and more importantly, there's no dodgy stains or smells. And then there's your key. We have two of these remote keys. We pop that into the dash over here, press your start stop button, and she fires up. Just telling us we're a bit low on fuel, got 41 miles worth of range as you can see there. Oh, let's turn that stereo down for you. Uh, we've got auto lights over this side with the button on the end here for your computer system so you can adjust stuff on here. So currently averaging 40.5 miles to the gallon, um, etc. So that's an average speed of 30 miles an hour. Um, so you can go into then your computer system. Here we have your volume and search controls. It has Bluetooth, some kind of, I don't know, don't don't quote me. A lot of these buttons will have voice activation buttons and there is no voice activation. So uh, take that with a pinch of salt, uh, but it does definitely have Bluetooth phone and Bluetooth music. And we have cruise control over here as well. Uh, lovely little factory sat nav set up on here. So you've got your speedo going around the outside, navigation, and your main menu button is here. So this button down here is your main menu button. This is what you use to move around your different selections. So obviously CD, multimedia settings, vehicle information, mini connected, office I think is online, handbook, navigation, Bluetooth phone, Bluetooth music, and, and the radio. Um, so uh, we also have stop start technology by the, no, that's traction control. No, that's traction control, that is stop start. Six speed manual gearbox. We have digital climate control as well. Uh, we have elect driver's electric window, rear fog light, central locking, front fog light, and passenger electric window. Heated rear window is here. Air conditioning button is here. Uh, press that one, it throws everything up at the front windscreen. Uh, you can adjust the temperature on your climate control using this button over here and blow fans you can adjust over here hit auto and obviously it'll adjust it to whatever temperature that you have it at let's knock that down a bit because it's getting a bit warm uh, and then obviously stereo buttons volume etc for your stereo and, and whatnot search or over here as well hazard warning lights on the top here um dashboard uh, sorry dashboard interior illumination on here um, you do have a rear uh, facing uh, mirror as well uh, top of the dash neck, etc. is all good. Cup holders, you know, as I say, we haven't cleaned it. You've got a little mini armrest here as well. Um, we haven't cleaned it, but you can see it's not full of McDonald's, etc. Um, so, pretty good from that point of view. Certainly for commercial, it's going to be a very clean, easy clean for us. Uh, and that's about it, I think, really. 
um, we have. Um, we'll probably re-photo it once we've cleaned it, but obviously this is just an initial video so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. But uh, yeah, not a bad little van, is it? Um, I'll very quickly, if I can, here is the bonnet release. We'll open that up. Finger under here somewhere. It's never, never easy, is it, on the video? So there we go. So there's your, boot release, your bonnet release just here, okay? Just, uh, just off the centre. But yeah, it needs a bit of a clean under here. We'll get it quickly cleaned, but you can see it's not filthy dirty, is it? A bit dusty. Uh, Pullman's in here. Um, dipstick here. Oil filler here. Um, and Pullman here is all okay. It's like a lot of blue Pullman's in there at the moment, I think. But yeah, um, that's underneath your bonnet. So there we go. Three keepers from new. 69,000 miles. Um, good history with it pretty good condition a few minor bits but you know we'll pick up a few minor bits the older we get don't we so uh vans today vans today worcester based in worcester in the center of the country we do nationwide delivery phone us a reference their latest covid guidelines um, but at the moment you are allowed on site and uh yeah here's the video walk around so um 60 odd photos will be online shortly um check us out our reputations on the internet google instagram linkedin uh, facebook etc etc thanks for looking at the video if it can be of any more help feel free to give me a shout 01905 672 080 or email sales at advanced today.com